Oh, then again! Please take your way. Fuck it up. Go, man. Keeper Hobson chased onto it, used his pace, and he almost had a fantastic opportunity for DG. They made a really good start here. straight back up so he's okay it looked to be a little bit off the floor here and Smith could be in trouble here we saw the first incident and the red cards out and the referee has leveled things up here at Sintel Bank Ash Smith sent off he looked to be off the ground two foot can he have any complaints I'm not sure that, that was much closer to us we had a much better view there I think yeah, he looked off the ground um, and obviously we'll have to look at the replays again later on Dangelo Hibbert's got the ball, can he turn? He's back to goal, lays it back to seven and spilled there by Greenway. Last chance Lincoln has created the long throw into Hibbert, held it up well, laid it back to seven. And seven forces Greenway into a simple save, but he made it look a little bit more difficult than before. Gray headers it. Oh, it's not far over there. James Gray unlucky. Second time he's got his head to the ball in this match in the penalty area. Slightly awkward position. He's leaning back, but did well to divert his header towards goal. Unfortunately, it went over. Melody brings it away. Brilliant ball into Cunliffe. Space come left, tries to curl it. Oh, unlucky. Just dipping over the bar. Only had a bit of space there, could have drove it forward a bit more. Good chance for Lincoln. The ball's now with Melody, the makeshift right wing back. The right back now, as we say, because Lincoln have changed to four at the back. Plays it into Hibbard. Hibbard turns. Good effort, brilliant save from Greenway. Excellent football, link up from Melody and Hibbard. Hibbard turns well and forces a good save out of Greenway. Best chance so far for Lincoln. Gray right back to Guinea. Try some step overs. He almost turns Van Poo, but Van Poo concedes a corner. Good footwork there by Guinness. Ian Hobson have really been 
the two outstanding players for BG in this first half. Very tricky players, aren't they? Definitely, and you know, they, if anything looks like they will be good for BG, it's keen through those two players. And we'll see what happens in this corner. Well, Guinness plays it in near post. Ward flicks it on. Hobson's there, and we have our first goal. Hobson taps it in, and BG have the lead in the Cathedral Cup. Brilliant header, brilliant flick on by Ward, and Hobson was there to gobble it up, unmarked in the six-yard area. Yeah, I mean, it was basically out of nothing. It was a good flick on there, but, um, you know, Hobson was in the right place at the right time to convert. Well, unexpectedly, BG have the lead here. They lead in the Cathedral Cup as we are just minutes away before half-time. The perfect time to score, really. Lovely football. Guinness into Gray. Oh, excellent play. Biggs to Guinness. Guinness in. Oh, what an opportunity. Unbelievable, Harry Guinness fluffed the signs completely. <laughs> you expect Guinness as a top scorer to have converted that, and you know, two 0 up before half time. What you couldn't have asked for any more from BG, but it wasn't meant to be. Excellent play on the on the wide area. Gray into Biggs. Biggs with a fantastic touched, delicate pass into the path of Guinness, who found himself in acres of space and he wasted the opportunity and could they learn to regret that half time an extremely entertaining first half goes inside plays it into Hibbert who's fouled there yes he is Cunliffe steps up with the left foot. Oh, just over the bar. It, it wasn't a very hard hit free kick, as we like to say, but you know, tested. Well, Greenway was scrambling a little bit. He's not the tallest of keepers, but you know, a good opportunity for Lincoln. Something looks like a good threat in that left wing. Semley's changed the game for Lincoln. He's been a threat since he's come on at half time. Again, deep cross, fries at the back post. Oh, it's punched away well there by Greenway. Looks certain for Fry to head in. It's back in, and Fry's got the ball again. He's got a bit of room. Goes for goal, fires over the bar. And it's a goal kick to BG, but Fry there, two bites at the cherry, but he couldn't take advantage. Yeah, definitely. He was unlucky there. You know, he made a chance out of nothing with the initial cross with the flick, and then fell back to him and leaned back a tiny bit and went over the goal, unfortunately. Two good chances for Will Fry there, missed his first opportunity, good goalkeeping that by Greenway, Greenway you have to say, we've been critical of him a little bit, provide him with a big test, it's going to be Nottingham with a free kick for Lincoln, played into the middle of the box, headed away well by Atwell, headed back in by Cunliffe, as that was Semley the sub, oh brilliant save from Greenway, fantastic turn by Semley. with the ball now certainly with the better side in the second half oh he's, oh he's been brought down and that's a penalty to Lincoln a penalty to Lincoln the foul was on I think it was Matt Cunliffe no complaints from the BG players it was either Callum Ward or Matt uh, Dan Woolley with the foul there was a definite trip whether it was inside the box remains to be seen but Lincoln have a penalty here, and they have a chance to equalise. It's Hibbert against Greenway. Right-footed to be taken. Hibbert steps up, and he sends the keeper the wrong way. And Lincoln have equalised. Matt Hibbert from the spot. 
and Lincoln's pressure in this second half has paid off. A brilliant penalty, sends the keeper the wrong way, and it's 1-1. Yeah, a fantastic penalty, something going the wrong way. And those BG players look pretty exasperated at the moment. Whether they'll be able to, you know, come back from this and really push on, I'm not quite sure. Looks like the momentum's definitely with Lincoln. Lincoln have the momentum, but BG do look a threat on the counter. And there's 1-1 one -one here at Central Bank in the first Cathedral Cup match. Tries to look the ball through to Semley. Oh, Semley's oh, he's in here. Semley. Oh, he's not met the keeper and it's in. Unbelievable. What a turnaround. The game changer, Matt Semley, has given Lincoln the lead. Look at Will Fry on the sideline who just came off. He's ran all the way to his teammate and they're all celebrating. Even Max Fisher from that goal, he's got involved in the celebrations as well. He's chasing a lost cause, sort of, you know. It's, Looked like the BG defence were going to deal with it, but they didn't. And Matt Semley broke the offside trap and slotted the ball underneath Greenway. And Lincoln, in the blink of an eye, now lead the Cathedral Cup by two goals to one. And Melody with a free kick, 30 yards out from goal. Whips it in. Oh, it's palmed away and it's gobbled up and it's 3-1. Hibbard gobbles it up and this game has changed around in the blink of an eye. Hibbard has his second. Melody's free kick palmed away by the BG keeper Greenway and Hibbard was never going to miss from there. BG one, Lincoln three. Wow. Fantastic free kick by Melody then. Yeah, unfortunately this time Greenway palmed it back right in the middle of the box and you know, Hibbard made no mistake by finishing that off and it looks like a massive challenge now for BG to come back from this. Here's Smith, the substitute, has a go. Oh, it's off the bar, and it's four. Cunliffe gobbles it up. What a strike by Smith. Off the bar, and Lincoln are all over them. Yeah, fantastic goal, though. I mean, you know, Semley ends up getting a rebound after a fantastic shot, and I'm, I'm lost for words at the moment. All of a sudden, it's, you know, <laughs> you do find themselves in a powerless position. Well, it was uh, Cunliffe with the goal, tapped it home. Greenway couldn't keep it out. by Gray. Cunliffe on the edge of the box, one of the goal scorers scored Lincoln's fourth, back out to Nottingham, he's got time to make a cross, deflects off Wilson for BG, headed away, and Woolley looks to get the ball away, oh, oh it's a brilliant strike, Cunliffe drills it in, drills the loose ball in, and Greenway's leg couldn't keep it out, it fires into the top corner, and Lincoln have a fifth, Cunliffe has his second, BG one, Lincoln five. Brilliant strike, I mean Greenaway couldn't do anything about that. I think, uh, you yeah, know, actual sympathy for Greenaway that I think had a lot of bodies in front of him and he didn't see it so very well and there was nothing he could do about it. Great strike by Cunningham. Back to Nottingham. He plays it wide to Smith. Not chasing the ball down. There's one ahead of Hatcher. That's excellent play from Smith, the substitute. For Lincoln. Draws it towards, ah, oh, it's a goal, it's 6-1, it's Cunliffe and that's his hat-trick, incredible. Matt Cunliffe has a hat-trick in the Cathedral Cup. Too easy, I mean, you know, Melody had no trouble finding Cunliffe and he's probably one of the smallest players on the pitch and he eased through that box and had a little bit I mean, absolutely brilliant to score. That, and takes it by Smith, lovely delivery. Chapman brings the ball away and that is the full-time whistle. Lincoln win the Cathedral Cup, the first ever Cathedral Cup. The players are on the pitch and Lincoln have humbled Bishop Gross Test by six goals to one. BG took the lead into the first half through a goal by Luke Hobson who went off injured just after half time. A couple of red cards in the first half. Phil Nicholson sent off for BG and Ash Smith sent off for Lincoln. As we mentioned, Hobson gave BG the lead with a good um, instinctive finish towards the end of the first half, but then Lincoln ran right in the second. A penalty awarded for a foul on Semley, dispatched by Hibbard. Then Semley gave um, Lincoln the lead, and then that is when Lincoln 
return to dominate proceedings. Hibbard picking up another, and Matt Cunliffe scoring a hat trick. So the final score here from Central Bank is Bishop Cross Test, University 1, University of Lincoln 6, and University of Lincoln win the Cathedral Cup. Goodbye from me, and goodbye from Daniel Khan. Goodbye, Dan. Goodbye. Have a lovely evening.